Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about how to reuse old or expired planners. I've got a couple of different ideas for you guys, maybe some that you haven't heard of yet. So if that is interesting to you, just keep watching. Okay, so the first tip is how to reuse cute dividers. So let's say you got a planner and it has expired or maybe you didn't use a certain month but you really liked the style of the divider. Um, you can, you know, obviously this one, I mean it's expired, you can reuse this as a divider in your planner. So here is one that I actually took and I redid with, um, I just took the front of the divider and then I covered the back just using a little Tombow and um, actually put a couple of stickers on here because I was thinking about how I was going to reuse this. You can relabel it. So it used to say January there. Um, you can cover it with stickers or you can do like a label machine, which I've done in multiple uh, versions of different videos that I've talked about how I use my labeler for the dividers. But yeah, so you can reuse the entire divider pretty easily and then you can just stick it in and make it a topic for your planner. So like you can put all of your home stuff in or notes or whatever else you want to keep outside of your normal calendar. You reuse it and it's good to go and you get to keep that cute divider that you you know love so much in your planner. You just find a new way to reuse it. Okay, so this next um, tip is to reuse your monthly spread. So if you have a planner with a month that you didn't end up using, um, and especially if you like the cover or the divider front, you can reuse it and you can relabel it kind of like I mentioned before. And then for the actual monthly section, you can reuse the spread in a couple of ways. Um, so this I think is a good way to reuse it as like a 30 day or 31 day challenge or something you want to do um, in a repetitive motion for 30 days. So like for example here I started a 30 day lettering challenge where I would take um, a certain verse and then I would try lettering it so as I went through I could keep track of what I lettered as I went through you know, through this uh, month, or I could just create like a, a, a master sheet, if you will, for 30 days. So for example, like for workout plans, if you do kind of the same thing, um, you know, throughout the month and you are building up to something, you could just have it laid out and then you don't have to repeat it each time. You could do um, like a gratitude. So you could, you know, reuse it and just have for 30 days what your gratitude is. You can just write it in on the actual monthly spread. You could do, you know, like self-care, um, you know, just things that you could do every day for your self-care for self-care for 30 days or 31 days. And then, you know, just kind of keep it and, you know, you can label it self-care. So keep it in your planner and then pull it out every time you feel like you need to recharge. There, um, you know, if you did a health challenge, you could do like, you know, a 30 day plank challenge or squats or push ups or any of those things. And all of that could be easily um, reused later down the road after you've completed a challenge. You could always pull it back out and use it again. So lots of different ways to reuse this. Um, the way that I, I marked it, I basically took off the Monday through Sunday on here instead of getting rid of the numbers, but you could do it either way. Um, you could also, you know, renumber it and leave it if you wanted certain start dates to happen. Uh, but this one would have been on Monday. So that's a usual start for a 30 day challenge if you can. So, so you could instead of this actually being day one or, you know, like the first of the month, it would be day one, day two, day three, day four. Um, but yeah, so that's a great way to reuse your monthly. And then, like I said, if you keep it, you can, you know, have a nice divider. That's always nice. You can keep it in there, relabel the divider, and then maybe, um, just put something on the back to kind of close it off. Um, maybe like a blank sheet of paper or maybe a notes sheet so that you could easily, um, you know, just get some, um, take notes. Let me pull one out real quick. You could put like, you know, dot grid or something or label paper, not label paper. 
uh, lined paper. And then on the back, maybe you could just kind of write some notes about whatever your challenge is, maybe how you, uh, you know, when you did it or keep track of all that kind of stuff and then reuse and recycle. And then you would have it kind of like, like that. Okay, so that's one uh, tip there for the monthly. So my third tip is to actually reuse either the monthly or the weekly um, spread as a master schedule. So that could be for workout plans, like I mentioned in the monthly. It could be for um, a daily schedule, like you're seeing here. Um, if you know that there are certain things that you need to do on certain days, you can kind of just take a spread, clean it up with some washi tape, cover up the numbers, and then just kind of focus on the mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, something you would do repetitively um, each day. So um, I kind of started working on one on my own here, uh, just trying to figure out how I would uh, fit in some of my new goals and working out the schedule there. You could do the same thing for like meal planning. Um, it's great for the monthly spread or the weekly spread if you do a repetitive weekly um, meal plan that could also work really well. So um, a few different ideas, but basically creating a master schedule, just taking off the dates, sticking with the Monday through Sunday or on the monthly, just sticking with the actual uh, first through the 30th or 31st, and then um, going from there and creating a schedule that you can refer to again and again without having to write it individually every day in your planner. Okay, so my next tip is to reuse your weekly spreads for lettering. You could also use um, your monthly as well, but um, weeklies tend to work a little bit better just because they'll give you a little bit more room to write in. And then horizontal or maybe even dashboard might be a better choice just because of the way that there is lines and kind of gives you a little bit of a guide. But there is also lined vertical that might work. Or even if you are trying to practice freehand using just vertical, um, you know, blank sp spaces and trying to letter in there, you could easily reuse it for that. Um, and you just kind of, you know, seek out what you want to be practicing, whether it's just a single word. There's plenty of lettering challenges out there for that. Um, I like to do more like Bible writing challenges just to kind of keep that going in my world. But, um, you know, there's multiple ways that you can reuse these types of layouts for lettering practice. And it doesn't matter what they say here because you're just going to, you know, use the lines basically as they are. Um, so you can either white it out or just leave it as is and, and not worry about it and just use the, uh, you know, the lines, like I said. So yeah, that's another tip. Okay, so the next way you can reuse um, a spread is for journaling. Um, I'm not a big journaler, so I don't really have an example to show you. But again, it goes kind of along the same lines as the lettering one that I just recently showed. Um, you basically can just use the lines as is and either journal, um, you know, like have a daily journal or you could just use it as if it was note paper um, and write in, you know, your feelings, your thoughts, your moods, um, you know, anything that comes to mind, you know, it could also be just kind of like scratch paper, just a, a good way to reuse the pages because the paper quality is really pretty good, especially in, in Happy Planner products. So, um, you know, it's just nice to have a use for that paper so that it doesn't go to waste. Um, the next tip I have is a pretty straightforward one, basically just redating the planner as is. But um, a nice tip is for if you are going to redate a significant amount of the planner from a previous uh, year and you have all of the months at your disposal, it's nice to go back and look and see, okay, so for the month you're trying to match up what days they start and when they end. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example. So 
I looked at when February 2020 was going to be and what its start date is, and September has the same start date from 2019. So it makes it a little bit easier for you. You can either just cover up the September and reuse that as, you know, just put in February here and 2020, then you're good to go. And you maybe cross off the holidays, but you won't have to actually redate all the individual numbers. Um, and I think February next year has 29 days, so um, it would just cover up the um, the 30 with some white out there, but then it would be ready to go pretty easy peasy. Um, and then you could also kind of keep that going throughout. So the same start date, so you would just need to cover that up and put in February, and you wouldn't have to do renumbering here. Um, certain layouts are easier to renumber than others, so just pick and choose how you want to do it. You might be better interested in keeping the month because, for example, here, you know, it says September, September here. If you'd rather it be September and you don't mind redating, um, that might be a better solution for you, just depending on your preference. But I like to match up the months and the days, so it just makes it a little bit faster and simpler to redate in my um, opinion. Okay, so my next tip is how to reuse the annual calendar. So 2019 is almost up and I still have the annual calendar from that planner, but going forward into 2020, it might be nice to um, reuse this page for different things like um, maybe you have school or vacation or things like that and you want to mark what days those fall on in the next year. You could also use it for um, habit tracking. So if you are starting a new um, habit that you're trying to keep throughout the year, you can kind of use this and just mark it off with like a, a, you know, just a highlighter or even just X it off with, you know, just a regular pen. And, um, keep track of the days that you completed that habit that you're trying to form. You could, um, you know, also do it for if, you know, for us females, if you wanted to keep track of, you know, your, your cycle, just, you know, what days those are, you can just kind of keep this one page in your health section and you just kind of, you know, follow along and you can kind of use that as your guide to know when it's going to happen. And, you know, so it's a good, little extra page that you the most planners have for the next upcoming year so you have it and you can reuse it in that way okay so my next tip is about reusing a currently page um, there's a lot of planners that have some really cute currently pages like this one here, um, very decorated, very like travel oriented. So it might be a really nice way to use it for some memory keeping options. Um, so say you're not actually going to use the spread or reuse this page, but you did like the current leaves, you could always just back it with, um, you know, another sheet of paper, glue it together. And then, um, you know, you could add here what you did. Maybe it was a certain vacation. Maybe it actually corresponded to the page. So like maybe you went to Paris, you could say, you know, oh, about your trip. You can, you know, add in some little tidbits about that. You can also maybe even do like a scrapbooking kind of collage on the opposite side and just keep it as a keepsake in your planner for that month. And so you have it separate from your actual currently in case you've developed a, uh, you know, a plan for using it. It would be more like an insert. Um, you could also do the same thing for some of the uh, more goal oriented currentlies if you like that style um, and just reuse them. And last but not least, basically just reusing the pieces of your planner like the discs, the covers, and recreating your own notebook out of those you know, harder, more durable items. So for example, I took the cover off of a planner that I wasn't using. I took their discs and then I'm just reusing it as a place to store all of my extra stuff 
for from old planners and stuff so that I can reuse it as needed. So I'm using it as a storage section, um, but you could also do like your own notebook. Uh, you just grab the discs and the cover from your old planner and then just add some note paper in and voila, you've got yourself your own new happy notes notebook, especially if you wanted to go back and reuse those dividers like we talked about earlier. And, you know, you could even make sections uh, for different subjects. Super easy. So that would be my final suggestion is just reusing the parts to create your own new notebooks or storage um, pieces to house the different items that you have in your planner stash. So that was tips to help you guys reuse your old planner items. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new that you could use your planner for. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.